to my channel. I am Key Love Scott. I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be the best versions of themselves and how to be made in his image. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to one of my favorite channels, which is Jason A. You guys can literally see right here. This is his channel. Um, 2022 is scary what is going on and this was compelling to me because literally I was thinking the same thing I don't know about you guys but this has been one of the most challenging years I've had before COVID happened um, so or I guess since COVID has happened so without further ado let's jump into the video you guys comment down below how has your year been has this year been hard for you as well spiritually like have you been facing more spiritual attacks going through more spiritual warfare, going through more financial issues. You guys, comment down below. I am really curious to know your answer. Tonight, we're taking a deep dive into the world of AI with a special focus on chat GPT. Everybody's using their the AI-generated images from these in their social media apps. Oh, I love being a woman. It's just... Oh my gosh, and that's so funny because I've been seeing that on Instagram where there's this new app, I don't know the name of it, but I've been seeing so many people's pictures of their faces mixed with whatever this, f like, photo filter is. Just really taken off in uh, the past uh, couple of weeks. Artificial intelligence, AI, you know about it, it's been around for a while, but it's exploded over the last few days as a wave of people began using the technology. Have you done it yet to create no, some, some saw, really though. interesting pictures? It's beautiful, I think. <laughs> it's the app that's taken social media by storm, from celebrities to TikTokers, all putting their face through the Lenza AI app. That's Relax, what it's called. Robots have a take. Yeah, it's called the Lenza AI app. That is exactly what it is, and I've been seeing it so much on my Instagram. And like the news anchor said, it is very beautiful. It's very compelling. And it's like, ooh, what is that? Because it looks just like the person nine times out of ten. But you can clearly tell it's not them because they're dressed up in these costumes. I really don't know how it works. I have not downloaded this app, nor have I tried it. Um, but I do know that artificial intelligence does have the capability to literally wipe humanity out because what would we be needed for at that point if AI could do everything if robots and you know people are they're saying people are already like half human half AI or whatever which is not too far-fetched seeing the fact that some people do have like um, like robotic legs or um, like if they lost if they have an amputee or something they'll go and get one of those um, prosthetics that are made out of metal like you guys might see those in the Olympics and stuff. I'm not referring to that per se, but you do see individuals do who do have those things where they'll have the little metal hand or whatever. So a lot of people are in fear right now and they're not knowing what's going on. And I think certain things like the way they're kind of gift wrapping all of this new potential AI stuff is making it glamorized and making it fun and then they'll add it on layer by layer by layer by layer more and more different things so where it's like they're slowly programming your mind to be accepting of whatever it is that they're trying to do which is their agenda aka the B system taken over yet yeah. but the internet's going crazy over new artificial intelligence called chat GPT the program can write really complex essays, books, news articles, and even computer code. And wow. it's really good. The revolutionary new language model developed by OpenAI with the ability to generate human-like text and hold natural conversations. We're definitely in a very exciting time with the development of artificial intelligence. It's becoming really, really sophisticated at this point. A sophistication that's introducing AI to millions who never used the technology before. Check your social media feed. You'll see images like this from an app called Lenza or yeah. answers to questions from ChatGPT created by a company called OpenAI. Today it crossed a million users. Wow. AI trackers are calling this a crossover moment. So that's kind of interesting how this shift in this kind of AI that's in some ways been there for quite a while has now been given like a new lease of life or a new kind of accessibility that makes regular people able, you know, more comfortable um, embracing it. It's pretty good. 
But mankind better be careful. Experts warn this thing has the potential to take your job. Kids That's what I'm saying. Kids can use these to cheat and have it write papers for them where it can impersonate your friends to give up your passwords. And the biggest fear is AI becomes so smart it finds a way to control humanity. <laughs> See, and that's the thing that a lot of people don't think about because it seems too far-fetched. Or some people may say, no, y'all reaching with all that. That would never happen. But a lot of the things that you thought would never happen have already started to happen. They're already unfolding. All of these biblical prophecies that people thought were not going to happen because people don't read the Bible are already starting to happen. A lot of these things that were once conspiracies are now unfolding or have already happened. And it's like, it's not a conspiracy anymore. This is literally happening. And this one is kind of freaking me out a little bit. You upload 10 to 20 photos of your face. Think selfies or portraits. The more angles and face expressions the photos have, the better results you can achieve. Then, after about half an hour, Lenza generates dozens, even hundreds, of pieces of digital art called magic avatars. Wow. But this morning, the question, how safe is your data when you use it? But the tech is also raising concerns, like what happens if those AI answer generators give you the wrong answer or do the work for you. If we have students who have the ability to just go online and have an AI write an essay for them, uh, we're gonna have to figure out new ways to evaluate students. There's a long list mm. of potential ethical concerns if generative AI does indeed take off. First, disinformation and misinformation. Think deep fakes, but on steroids. A classic example is, you know, Taking the image and the voice of the president, having him say something he would have never done, uh, the consequences could be severe in the, in the, in the sense of it you know, creates misinformation mm -hmm. and other things. These technologies can also be used to harass people, right? You could take an image of a, a person that you may not like and have them do something, um, and, and it can have a lot of negative consequences. The filters are modeled after the styles of popular artists, leaving some to question the integrity of the filters and whether artists are actually being ripped off. Artists saying, hey, you're taking years of my work and you're saying that someone can upload 10 selfies of themselves and get this illustration. Right. One of the articles that it is as significant as electricity and fire in terms of what it can do. You know, we already have robots that are on crime scenes that are, you know, whether it's bombs or whether it's just, uh, you know, supervising and going around with a video camera. It sounds and looks wow. like the crime fighting tools of the future. I didn't even know that about what she just stated about how they already have robots that go around at the crime scene. But I did see in Hollywood that they have these little robot. I don't know if they clean the streets or if they're like carts or something, but they just drive around by themselves, you know. So this stuff is not too far fetched. These people are not reaching with their fears and they are legitimate, you know. Of course, AI can definitely have very positive things as well. It can do very good things, but in the hands of the wrong people, it can be very dangerous, okay? Like I said, it can wipe out your jobs. It can wipe out humanity as a whole because, again, why would we be needed when you have AI that can do these things better and faster than what humans can do? Okay, and I feel like all of this, what it's really doing is just creating a lot of misinformation and making it that much harder for us to be able to find the truth out there for those who are searching for it. How would you really know what the truth is if you don't read your Bible and you're trying to get it through what you see constantly and you're kind of relying on leaders like the president or the news to kind of feed you information? It's going to be very easy to get lost in the misinformation because all of this stuff is is just clouding a lot of judgment and it's just making it like really, really hard to know the truth. And that's going to be extremely bad for a lot of people's mental health. San Francisco supervisors have approved a policy letting police use remote controlled robots that are capable of deploying deadly force. Oh. Police officers in a major American Excuse city me? have been given the authority to use remote controlled robots that are capable of using deadly force in a Have you guys seen the movie Wally? -E? This looks like Wally -E, kind of. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Disney Plus and watch that movie. He literally looks kind of like this. 
And look at this, guys. He's taking pictures of it. And this thing can use deadly force? Like, what is going on? In emergency situations. Mm. A spokesperson says the department could deploy robots equipped with explosive charges to, quote, contact, incapacitate, or disorient violent, armed, or dangerous suspects. A mechanized object where you are not physically in the room and don't have a 360 view and can use your judgment that only humans have. This is a big deal. This is a this is opening up a Pandora's box that could change our society in a significant way. Yeah, you're right. You guys, if you want to support his work, head over to Patreon. Again, his name is Jason A. Um, you guys, this is, like I said, AI can be very beneficial in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, it's it's good. It can make things accessible for us. We don't have to spend all the time getting into our phone or, you know, we can easily have access to so much at our hands just like that, right? Um, however, that is also the con of it as well. It makes us lazy. It makes us not want to actually think for ourselves. I feel like I feel like it dumbs you down to a degree because if they're saying that these things can easily write essays and they're really really good, what do you need to think for? You don't need to learn how to write your essay. You don't need to know what's going on about the matter because. You got AI that can do that for you. And so it's like, well, I could save time. I'd rather, I'd rather do this instead. So you wouldn't really need to go, you know what I mean? Like figure out how to do a great job or read a, about what's going on on your essay. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like that dumbs you down and you're losing brain cells because you're not studying. You don't have to do it. You don't have to walk as far because they just bring everything to you. You don't really have to do anything. And so it's basically... I forget what movie that was where all of humanity just was basically they took a trip out of the earth and they went to basically like it was almost like a cruise. They were on a cruise inside of a big ship and they didn't even walk and they were all just getting obese. They didn't have to think they didn't have to do anything because everything they wanted was just right at the touch of their hand they could just call and get something they have monitors in front of their faces 24 7 just watching tv watching things and they're just sitting on this major cruise ship and they're in space so they don't really know what's really going on because um i guess earth became inhabitable because humanity destroyed it and that's literally kind of like what's going on here and so they were trying to go to another planet to figure out if there's another inhabitable place where they can live um and basically all of the electronics the little robots and stuff was just bringing everything to them no one they didn't even have to have workers but they kept the individuals programmed by keeping their faces in front of a tv screen keeping them with their phones and continuously feeding them and i don't care if the drinks were this big or bigger they can ask for another and they get a refill and yeah they just had all these big monitors all over the place every single where so you really are distracted from the present moment because you're so focused on everything that you're seeing to the point to where you're being programmed and that's kind of what's going on in this world today so um if you guys would love to leave a love donation i would really appreciate it it's uh my cash app is key loves god my Venmo is Key Loves God. If you don't feel led to, that's perfectly fine. Just thank you for watching this video with me. You guys, definitely comment your thoughts and opinions down below on humanity and AI. And if you think that humanity is destroying itself. And um, again, this is all written. So it's kind of like, uh, we can't really be surprised by it. But um, I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching until the end with me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in another video. Mwah!